All right, hey there, Wednesday crew. Got some interval work for you today. We're doing four rounds total. We have five minutes to complete each round. Ideally, each round is done in around four minutes or so. She so should have about a minute of rest in between rounds. This is important uh, to keep in mind while you're considering your weights and things like that. If you feel like you're not going to get uh, each round done in about four minutes or less, then feel free to scale these numbers down a little bit. I do want you to have the, uh, you know, about a minute rest. Um, each round we have, so first two rounds, 21 lateral dumbbell hops. So 21 lateral dumbbell hops across and back is one rep. So you can either think of this as 21 uh, back and forths or 42 hops total going over the handle of your dumbbell. Uh, then we have 12 double dumbbell thrusters, right? Dumbbells ride the shoulders, full squat at the bottom, full lockout overhead, 12 thrusters, 21 more hops, nine double dumbbell clean and jerks from the ground to the shoulders and from the shoulders to overhead, nine reps, 21 more hops, and then six devil's press. I'll demonstrate this one for you in a moment. Devil's press is kind of a combination of a burpee and a double dumbbell uh, snatch. So... First part of the workout, first two rounds, I should say, we're running through that once, resting, hopefully, uh, running through it second time, again, resting. And then rounds three and four are much the same, except we uh, reverse the order of the dumbbell movement. So rounds three and four, we still have the hops in there, just as before, 21 reps every time, but we're going six uh, devil's press, nine clean and jerk, and 12 thrusters. So just kind of reversing the order, running through that twice also. Um, yeah, all these things, I mean, ideally as written, it is, is uh, we're using two dumbbells for all these orders, of these movements, I should say, but they can all be done with one dumbbell, one kettlebell. Um, check out the programming notes that I provided. Uh, there's a few different versions. You know, you can use a slam ball, med ball, odd object. All these things can be done with whatever you have at hand. I would say, if you're not sure whether to go heavier or lighter on your weights, go lighter. It's better to go lighter and faster than heavier and slower in this workout, given our restricted time domain, okay? Um, the weights, all these movements, the 12 thrusters, the nine clean and jerks, and the six devil's press should all be performed unbroken, right? Rip it and rip it, get them done. Um, thinking about pacing, yeah, we want to go unbroken on all the dumbbell movements, probably on the slightly faster side. And then when we get to our dumbbell hops, take a nice kind of slow, consistent pace of these. These will really or can really jack up your heart rate. So we want to kind of go slow and steady, not slow, steady pace on the uh, pops. So that way, when it comes time to get those dumbbells, those weights moving, we can just get, get them done, get right back to the hops. Again, the goal is to get these rounds done in four minutes or less. Let me show you a couple movements. All right, let's take a look at these weighted movements. Uh, thrusters, of course, two weights. Bells ride the shoulders. This is where we start. Feet are a little bit uh, wider than shoulder width apart. Full squat down at the bottom. Drive up. Press overhead. Bring it back down. Full squat down at the bottom. Full lock out overhead. Dumbbell thrusters. Then we have our clean and jerks. Right. So we have um, slightly narrower stance here. Dumbbells. Top part of bells. Touch the floor outside. The feet at the bottom. Bring it up to the shoulders. And then we can either push press or push jerk overhead. Rebend the knees and push it all the way up. Clean and press. Devil's press, slightly different movement than we're used to. Dumbbells actually start on the floor here. You want a little bit of space between them because your chest will be touching the floor in between. But we put hands on the bells, drop it all the way down the floor just like a regular burpee. We're going to jump the feet in, went a little bit wider with the feet just outside the bells here so we can swing the bell through and bring them up overhead. Right back down to the floor. You want more. Chest goes down to the floor in between. Feet are a little bit wider. And then swing them up. Right? All these movements can be done with one bell. Or one weight. Devil's press. You know, we just have the hand on the one bell. Do our burpee. To bring the feet in. And snatch overhead. We're going to switch hands. Each rep on that one. Thrusters. Same thing, one weight, full squat, press overhead, clean and jerk. Only difference there is the weight would be between the feet as opposed to outside the feet, right? Jumping up the shoulders, rebound the knees, press it overhead. 
it's one kettlebell, one dumbbell, whatever you got. Thing to think about today would be the, the stance, what our feet are doing, because every movement is going to be slightly different today. Um, we have our thrusters. So we're going to bow shoulder width apart with our thrusters, right? It's going to stand in squat stance there. We're going to go a little bit more narrow with our clean and jerks because the weights for most of us are going to be outside the feet and we're not squatting in the clean and jerk today. So a little bit closer, right about hip width apart for our clean and jerks. And then uh, with our devil's press, we're going pretty wide. Like I said, we want to have enough space so that the weights can actually swing safely between the knees. So when you come up out of that burpee, let's go a little bit wider, basically just outside your dumbbells so you can swing it through nice and narrow. And then for the hops today, we can actually be much more efficient and faster with our feet close together, right? Nice little small spot with the feet together. You may feel more stable uh, with your feet wider apart, right? The less chance of falling at all. So it's going to be a little bit slower. So play around with that. When you're warm up, try the hops in two different ways. Feet together, it's going to be faster. It's also going to make your heart rate up, get up a little bit faster. Um, or slightly wider with the feet, it's going to be a little bit slower, but also make you more consistent. So kind of find that sweet spot that works for you. All right. That's it, guys. Wednesday workout. Get after it. Good luck. Have fun. Work hard.